Hello and welcome back to an episode of TCN. Today we have got Hoya de Monterey's Excalibur Cameroon. Let's jump into it. Going over the tobacco, this guy obviously namesake features a Cameroon wrapper, Connecticut broadleaf binder, and a nice blend of Dominican, Honduran, and Nicaraguan filler. Dry puff here, this is, it, it's all right. It's a little minerally, some nice baking spice, nothing too crazy, but you know what? Let's smoke this guy down and see what I thought. Going over the first third, uh, usually I don't like pointing out this note, but this one starts off with an incredibly robust tobacco flavor, a little bit of nuttiness and minerality. But overall, that tobacco is just rich and umptuous and just very just present. Getting in the second third, it does start to smooth out. It's just really nutty, a little bit of earthiness and some light pepper on the tail. And for the final third, it ends with just a lot of charred wood and earthiness and Sounds like it builds up to a lot of earthiness, but surprisingly, it doesn't. It really doesn't get too earthy for me. Making the cigar, I actually really enjoyed the cigar. I'd give it something like an 89. I thought this cigar was phenomenal and probably one of my favorite Cameroons. Going over the notes, great construction, burn and draw, zero problems at all. Going over price range online, they sit around the 980 range. I got mine out of a little fresh pack. So roughly speaking, I got mine for about five bucks. So... Probably not a good gauge, but still awesome value, especially for five bucks. Great cigar. And finally, is this cigar noob friendly? I'm, you know, I'm going to say yes. I think it's a little on the bolder side for a noob, but I think the value is phenomenal. You know, you're getting a really great cigar for under 10 bucks. You can't go wrong. It's definitely worth a try. But hey, thank you all for tuning in and I will see you all next time. <laughs>